What's up everyone? This is Derek with Euro Superbike Life back with another episode. Thanks for tuning in. Today we are changing the oil and filter on my RSV4 factory. Welcome back guys. You guys know me. Before we start any job, I like to go over the tools that we're going to use to get the job done. So let's go through these one by one, shall we? First off, we have a 3 8 drive ratchet of your choice. This one happens to be a long one. Uh, we have an, a 3 8 uh, 10 mil Allen key. That's to remove the drain plug. We have a 4 and a 3 mil um, T-handle Allen key set. Um, you don't need T-handles. You can use whatever it is you want. Flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, a stubby Phillips head screwdriver. Um, an oil filter wrench. Uh, I happen to have one of these. I think they use work really well. I have a couple of different ones, but one that works well for you. The OEM oil filter from Aprilia. I like to use the OEM oil filters. Uh, I've had some problems with the K&N filters in the past, so I try not to use those. The crush washer. Uh, always want to replace the crush washer. Then we have our oil. So Aprilia calls for 5W40 full synthetic. I'm using Castrol Power One. Uh, it's just my preferred choice. It's easy for me to get. And then I have a couple of spare clips. Um, the, the, when you remove the fairings, there are a few plastic clips on here. Um, they don't need to be OEM clips as long as they fit and they work. Uh, they'll work for you if you're a real anal. Uh, get a handful of clips before you start the job, uh, particularly if it's been a few thousand miles since your oil change. Uh, the heat of the engine makes these really brittle when you go to remove them. They will undoubtedly break. So, on a difficulty scale of 1 to 10, I'd say this job is about a 3. This is everything that you will need to complete the job, uh, minus an oil pan. Obviously, you'll need something to drain the oil into, so get yourself a shallow oil pan. And, of course, something to... Uh, to support the bike, so a rear wheel stand or front wheel stand or paddock stand, whatever works for you. All right, let's get to removing some oil and filters. Welcome back everyone. The first thing we need to do in this project is remove the right side fairings here so that we can gain access to the oil filter and the drain. So we're going to grab our four mil Allen key and start removing some fairings. Next, I'm going to grab my flathead screwdriver to pop out these fasteners. Now I'm going to grab my number three T-handle Allen key. All right, there's the upper. We'll set this aside. Okay guys, so now that we have the fairings off, we can you can see the oil filter here. Here's our oil filter. So what we want to do now is we want to bring in our oil. I'll set this over here. We want to bring in our oil pan. Grab our ratchet and our 10 Allen key and we want to start removing the drain. Now, the drain is here, the very bottom here, and it's a large Allen key. So, you want to make sure that you 
get the pan under here so you don't make a mess. So we'll break it loose and we'll use our hand to move the rest. Grab myself a rag. Help that drain a little bit. We will remove the drain fill plug. Set that aside. Okay, so now we want to remove our oil filter. it up and out and then dump that in there we'll let that drain for a few minutes and then we'll come back and put the new filter on and fill it with oil okay we're back guys uh, the oil has had a, a few minutes to drain here and I've cleaned up my uh, oil drain plug so right now I'm gonna remove the old crush washer and replace it with a new crush washer and then I'm going to slide this uh, drain plug back into place. Grab my ratchet. Put this back on. You guys know me, I am not a torque Nazi. So if you want to know the specific torque specs for this, uh, just look it up. Look in your manual. Um, I just make it snug. All right. Remove our pan. I'm going to wipe off that area. And let's put some oil in this thing, shall we? All right, now we want to install our oil filter. So we're going to get a little bit of old oil on our finger and just spread some on the seal here and screw that back on. Make sure you do not cross thread this. This does not need to be super tight. Hand tight is all you need. Spin it on with your hand. And there you go. Let's fill it. Okay, so I have my funnel, and the manual calls for four quarts, so we're going to start with four, and then we'll check the sight glass, start it, go from there. So the sight glass is underneath, under here, and looking at that, it looks good right now. So we'll cap it, we'll open the garage door, start it, let it run for a few minutes, turn it off, and then we'll check it one more time. Welcome back everyone. So we let the bike run. I let it sit for a little while 
and I checked the sight line and we're just below uh, the, the lower level. So we're going to add just a little bit more and then we will be done. Okay, let's put the fairings back on this thing. That's the last one. Well, that's a wrap, guys, for the oil and filter change on my Aprilia RS V4 factory. This bike is good to go, at least for another couple of hundred miles until I need to change the tires. Tune in next episode, where I change the battery on an MV Augusta F3800. You guys will not believe what's involved to change the battery on that bike. But nevertheless, I'm Derek. This is your Superbike Life. Until next time. Take care.